We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. We'll use this. Graythar. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Just give that a turn. There. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the world serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages. Even ones I've never heard before. When he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Sweet boy Atreus. I'm gonna say this guy. Ah! Something around here. Can't do anything with. What a waste of time. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back to God. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Leosta! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Tyr's temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. 
Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Okay. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Now how would she know I was able to lift this? Good. Now push it back into place. <sighs> Align the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. <laughs> what? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. <laughs> Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls, denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Did Vanier magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait. So did the giants or the elves build tier stuff? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. The mouth was way on the last part. Leosa. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. Talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. We have so much in common. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree and make travel between the realms possible. Approach the table. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of all time. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room 
and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So. That's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Well, why the hell did Wait, I have to push? There's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening cool. the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower I'm seeing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Okay. Still here? Wow, this is much more, much prettier. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot the light? I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. What the? Hmm. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Um, 